Okay, so today we're going to learn a single crochet decrease. Now this works the same with every, if you're going to use a double crochet or treble, all it means is that you're going to work over a few stitches, depending on what your pattern calls for. But today we're going to do a single crochet decrease. So what that is, is you're going to make your single crochet in your next stitch where they tell you to decrease. So you're going to put your hook in, you're going to pull up like you normally do, and then you're going to go over into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over. Now you'll have three loops on your hook and you went into two stitches. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So over these two stitches you now made one. Okay. So let's do it again. So let's, we're going to single crochet decrease over these next two stitches. So we're going to put our hook in the one, yarn over, pull it up. We're going to put our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull it up, and we'll have three hooks or three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And you see how I'm beginning to curl here a little bit? Let's do it again. So we're going to decrease over our next two stitches. And some patterns will call over three stitches. Okay, so as many as you do, you just never pull all the way through off your hook. So let's go over these next two. So we're going to single crochet in this stitch, yarn over and pull it up. We have two loops. Yarn or put it in our stitch, yarn over, and we have three. Yarn over through all three. Okay, let's do it again so you can see how this is going to look at the end. So we're going to in our stitch, yarn over, pull it up, and we're decreasing over the, these two stitches. So we're going to in our stitch, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over all three. Let's do it again into our stitch, yarn over, pull it up, into our stitch, yarn over, and pull it up for three. This is a single crochet decrease. And see what's happening? It's starting to curl.